Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name is Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147, and I've got another sneaky peek for you. Uh, so, this is a sneak peek for a release from Aura Loa. Uh, this is expected to be released on the 28th of April. So, only a few more days. Uh, so yeah, this is expected to be released on Friday. And this is a stunning piece of artwork by Emanuela Manello. Uh, apologies in advance for any mispronunciation of any words, even English words, um, even words that I understand. I apologise for any mispronunciations. Um, but yeah, this is by Emanuela Manello. It is called Wonderland Party. Love myself a bit of Alice. Um, this is a gorgeous scene. Oh, my camera can't focus because I'm moving the box around far too much. Let's get a diamond painting out of it. So this painting is 66.2 centimeters by 78 centimeters this is square so it's a square painting and i get all oh, get rid of the outer plastic always good for the transportation um of a painting but I don't try and wrestle it back in because that's not going to happen but look oh this has the gorgeous soft felt back I can feel I can hear a toolkit let me just take the toolkit out I will show you the toolkit of course but for now I want to see the painting um oh and it's rolling back up on me oh my goodness me look at those diamonds we have ABs. We have ABs. I love some ABs. See if I can get this fully in frame. I'm going to struggle a little bit, I think. Um, but here we go. We have Alice, of course, over here, sat on a chair with our lovely Mad Hatter. We have some of the Cheshire cats. We have the mouse. We have some token mushrooms, uh, some gorgeous flowers, of course, some teapots and some tea cups. But that's the top half of the painting. And this is licensed art. And there is the bottom half. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Um, this has an amazing 60 colors and seven of them are ABs. So we have seven ABs. To so have a look at all the colours that I give, did give you a sneak for, but if you have a look, aren't they beautiful? So we've got some of the darker colours at the beginning, but we do have some beautiful purples and blues, some gorgeous pinks, which will help make up those flowers. And then we have some nice sparkle. So let's get these ABs out. I like to go on a good hunt for the sparkle. So let's grab my AB bags. Oh, I will also show you just before we go on an AB hunt. Um, you do get a toolkit with this. You get quite a lot in your toolkit actually. So we have the nice white tray with a spout. You get wax in a pot. You do also get a couple of extra discs of wax as well. So I'm gonna pop them all together. We get a pen with a three placer. Uh, you get another multi, in fact, you get another two multi-placers, though they are the same. So you might only get one. I might have just got lucky. Uh, you also get a foam squishy, a pair of nice tweezers, and some Aura Loa washi tape. 
So that all comes in the toolkit. I'm not sure if you get tweezers with the round paintings, uh, but this one is a square, so you do get them. You also do get a nice information sheet if you've not done diamond painting before, and this one's caught your eye. There is some instructions on there, but of course, check out my beginner videos um, on this channel. I've got a little beginner playlist uh, and that'll help you out. Then you also get a sticker sheet uh, with all your numbers and symbols. So much easier than writing them all out. 60 colours. Gorgeous. And there is the image itself. Um, what I like to do is I do like to chop this in half when I'm unboxing it because I pop this one into my logbook to tell me what I have in my stash and I keep this one with the painting ready for kitting up. But let's go on an AB hunt. So we're going to start with this one which is 666 AB and um, so it is red. I'm hoping I've given myself an easy one to find <laughs> because you never know with me. Um, yes, we have quite a bit of this AB in this pattern on the back of the chair. There is also a few little scatterings on this side, though most of the red is on this side of the chair. Uh, we also have some in the mushroom, uh, a little bit on um, the waistcoat, some in his hair, and I think that's where I'm seeing them all for now. Oh, there is also a little scattering over here as well. So there will be the odd little bit that I may miss of a scattering. Uh, then we have two different oranges. Uh, so this one is 741AB, which is the letter G. So I'm just going on a little scan to find the letter G. Trying not to miss, but also probably expecting it to be higher up here. Oh yes, it's in his hair. Uh, so it is in our Hatter's hair is the bulk of this letter G. There may well be some scatterings elsewhere, but that's what's flashing out at me at the moment. So we have a red piece that's in AB and then some of this letter G, mainly scattered over this side, but there is some round here and some in his eyebrows as well. Then we have an even smaller amount. This one is 742 AB. Uh, and this just has the number 56 on it, which means it's colour 56. Uh, so this one is H. This one is also scattered in his hair next to this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's just these two symbols here, but they are made up of two different colours. I'm not seeing that one anywhere else straight up, though as I say, there may be a scattering in other places, but primarily it's in his hair. Number 57, now we have a lot of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Two bags of this AB, so let's go hunting. We do have some in the Cheshire Cat's smile. <coughs> Excuse me again and a little bit on the body. Not too much though. <coughs> oh, I think I've finished. Okay, sorry about that, coughing fit over. Um, yeah, so the pink AB, uh, we have some lining, some of this shading part on the Mad Hatter's shirt. There's also little bits here on the little sort of pouch that he has on. There's the odd scattering in the arm of Alice. There's a little scattering here on some of these mushrooms. This one is definitely scattered about in little places. There's a little bit here 
on the highlights. There's some here in sort of the froth on the teacup. And then we get to where most of it is, is these gorgeous flowers. So quite a few of these petals are made up of primarily the AB, not totally, but there is a lot across both of these flowers of that AB. So that's where you'll see most of it. This will sort of set the scene for the rest. Um, then we have 3078 AB, which is a pale yellow. There is a little bit in the centre of the flowers. This one actually only has two pieces. There is a little bit more in this one. Uh, there is quite a bit in the centre of this cup to highlight the cup. Do we have any more further up? Oh yes, in her hair. But again, just a light splattering within her hair. Um, there is also some on the cup that she's holding. And there is some on the teapot and a little bit highlighting around his nose. So that is 58. Number 59, which is 3841AB. Looking now, the primary place for that, just checking I've not missed any up the top, is on her dress. So there is a scattering of ABs throughout her dress. I'm not hugely seeing it anywhere else. So there may be the odd little splattering, but that is the main place, or oh, there is a little bit around here on this saucer. Oh, and I did, it's just a little bit there as well on our mouth. Um, so that is the pale blue, primarily on the dress. And then we have quite a bit of 5200 AB as well. Now this one is scattered throughout. Um, so there is highlights on the flowers. It is still primarily the pink on the flowers, but there is highlights of the white. There is highlights of the, of the white scattered all through different places in our mouth um, and the places where he stood. There is quite a bit here in the sugar bowl. There's quite a bit here in this lighter part above. Is it? Oh, it's another cup. It's two cups sat on top of each other. I was trying to figure out the light shining off it funny for me. Uh, but yeah, these two cups here, there's quite a bit. There's also quite a bit in these two cups here. Um, and as I say, the bowl and the sugar bowl. There is highlights on the middle part of her dress. Uh, there is also an odd little scattering in this chair. There's some in her cup, in her eyes. Um, in relation to the hatter, there is some on his cuff here, some on his sleeve here. Little bit highlighting the mouth. There's quite a bit highlighting in with on the teapot, so that will be quite sparkly. Uh, between the yellow and the white, that will be quite a sparkly teacup. And then it's all in these stars in the sky as well. Little bit in the cat's eyes. And there's the odd scattering, the odd dot of lighter parts over his body as well. But yeah, all these sort of star parts. It, sometimes it's only one AB. Sometimes it's a few ABs making a little cross. But yeah, the whites are scattered throughout. Looks like a nice selection straight up of ABs. A nice scattering through. We're highlighting, um, of course, the two main guests to the tea party. Uh, we're highlighting various elements that are on the table. And of course, these gorgeous flowers on the front. So yeah, if you wanna get yourself one of these, uh, it does launch on the 28th of April. 
um, and don't forget to check out the discount code below as well um, in case that helps saves you a penny or two um, on this painting but yeah thank you so much for spending time with me while I shared this sneak peek for you of what's to come and don't forget to check out all the other new releases as well because um, while I am able to share a couple with you I'm, I'm not, I don't have the ability to share them all with you um, so go and have a browse so many different licensed artists and I love seeing uh, another way for artists to get their work out there and we can feel like we've played a part but thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon